Hi, in this video, we'll see what is a dead queue and how we can clean up the dead queue interactively and in batch. This uh, dead letter queue consists of uh, messages uh, queued to uh, L term created dynamically by IMS. Uh, so they are built into IMS uh, consisting of significant amount of messages that occur over a period of time for certain undefined destinations. And uh, in Message Advisor, uh, they are uh, very easily filtered out using a destination type. So let's go ahead into the product and see how we can um, uh, look at those messages. So if we go into the product and select option 2 and press enter, we have option 7 here, uh, which is dead queue. Uh, basically uh, giving us all the dead letter queues that are contained in our IMS. So, if I go ahead and choose option 7 and press enter, all the dead queues that are listed, all the destinations which are type dead queue that are listed in, the, in my IMS are easily showed up here. Uh, so this was a video on uh, how we can basically filter out those messages. Subsequent sessions are how we can clean up these dead queues uh, interactively and also as job um, and uh, it can be really easily done using message advisor so happy learning ahead hi so here's another technique how you can clean up your ims deleter queues using message advisor and that is executing your command set in batch uh, let's uh, look at how we can do this so let's go into the command uh, so i have the command already built in and to execute any command in batch, we have option X. So before we do that, let's go and look into the command, what it does. So it basically selects all the destination type as dead queue and it dequeues uh, them uh, completely and it cleans up your IMS editor queues. Uh, so to execute in batch, let's uh, see option X here, enter, execute the command set and here is a batch submit step. Uh, we need to definitely modify our job statement uh, and uh, have the correct step lip concatenation and the QMR ops to make this successful. So once we have all this in place, we just have to press enter and we see that the job is already submitted and we have maxi C0. So let's go and look into the job as to what it has basically done. So if we can see, we get a beautiful report here suggesting how many destinations were selected for DQ, how many messages were basically DQ'd what were the destinations that were uh, DQ, the first and the last message, and definitely the status. So, uh, OK indicates that we've successfully cleaned up the IMS editor queue. And if we uh, look at the queue once, if you want to display the queue, and we see that there are no destinations. For. So, this is how easily we have DQ'd uh, in batch all the, uh, all the IMS editor queues. And one of the fantastic part about this is even you can automate the command set that you build in to run as an MAQ batch job using your environment auto operations uh, and then uh, cleaning up the IMS data queues just becomes a part of your routine. Thank you. So in this video, we are basically going to see how we can clean up our IMS dead letter queue interactively using Message Advisor for IMS. And this can be done using uh, building a command set uh, using the uh, Message Advisor ISPF panel. So to do so, let's uh, select option 1 to build and execute the Message Advisor request. Uh, press enter and uh, select uh, add a new member so we, we are basically going to clean up the IMS dead letter queue so we need to select DQ press enter we go ahead with the options which is the processing options uh, give the IMS ID here and uh, we could choose uh, the messages as per our convenience press enter press enter and yes so basically in the DQ it already gives us a warning uh, it requires an interval or um, the select or reject um uh, destination so let's go ahead uh, on option four uh, on page number four here yeah so here basically we're going to select the destination type as dead queue so select the function select and here we need the destination type as message advisor currently it's all so select the destination type and in destination type basically uh, we want to choose dead queue and remove all the other destination types so press enter and um, we can see that the destination type is dead queue which is selected 
press enter this is for the dq and unload option so right now we just move ahead with the dq option press enter we accept the changes and here's our command uh, built for us here let's give it a member name so let's say dead q cleanup uh, and the title is basically option press enter f3 and we say that we need to create the new member enter and tada the new member uh, is uh, created let's sweep into the member and see so what it's done so it's basically selected the destination type as dead queue and what it would do is basically perform a dq for all the conversational messages so let's go ahead and execute this interactively for that we have option q here so give option q enter execute and that's it the command is executed just to verify if we've done it or no we go ahead and browse and we can see that all the destinations that were dead queue are basically selected and uh, they are dequeued from our ims so let's go ahead and verify once if it's really dequeued or no so we can see that there are no destinations found so likewise we uh, uh, already saw how how what is an IMS dead queue, how we could filter it out, how we could do it interactively and also in batch. Thank you.